Hey there everyone, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing how to fix a problem with your chainsaw and the kill switch popping out. It's a very common error, especially in the steel MS-170 model. Um, apparently I'm not the only one, I looked it up because I was cleaning out the air filter and then I noticed um, the um, thing that choke the kill switch right here obviously it's fixed right now it's like over there and i'm like that's definitely not right so something about the um switch and it can it's with, it can happen to any steel chainsaw and i fixed it with no tools i mean the only tool i'm gonna have to use is down on fingernails i just use a flathead screwdriver to twist the lock right here unfortunately you know my fingers aren't the best but some videos will say like take a file and file a piece i really didn't have to do that um so to take off the um top um oh yeah here so basically people are having trouble that their steel saw cannot go down properly you have to put the choke all the way down here to take this off comfortably without ripping anything and i think my problem was I took the top off, went to switch up, so I think that's how I kind of popped it. I gotta use two fingers with this real quick. Of course, it's not working. There we go. Okay. All steel models are different. So what happened was, right here, choke over right here was up, it was right here. So the switch was not working. It needs to be on this half moon hook. It'll be right next to this little metal thing. And you'll see in some videos they want you to like file up here. I didn't have to do that. Basically, if it's up, you just have to, you know, carefully just put it back in place and it should work. You could tell if it's warm start, then you would switch up. And then once you get it on, you know, and then off, down, trigger, you know. So it worked. And it should be the same on the, any other steel model. Yep. Right down there, you can see this time that it's hooked into this orange hook right here. We got the same metal, one down. Trigger all the way down, one up, trigger off. And that's pretty much it. So all you have to do, once again, is any model will have like a little hook. It'll be probably different on every model. All you have to do is just take the lever, the pipe, or, you know, cylinder thing, whatever the levels, whatever the kill switch is on, and just pop it back in. And that it's a really easy fix. It'll save you money in case you have to go to a steel dealer. Because they charge, you know, a lot just to look at it. And that'll conclude this video. So I hope this helps people out. Don't, don't be hot on me. I'm not the best at fixing stuff. But yeah, it's a very easy fix. No tools needed most of the time. And yeah, thank you.